Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, uh, Chris and Beer Cognition. I wasn't gonna do this. Um, I really wasn't gonna do this, but I figured, what the hell? Um, I want to address two topics that have been big in the beer world. It's gonna be Goose Island being purchased by Anheuser Busch, of course, and uh, uh, what the hell was the name of that show? The Dogfish Head Show on Discovery Channel. Uh, Brewmasters being canceled. Let's. I'm just going to blow through these real quick. Anheuser Busch buying Goose Island. Um, long and short of it is, I think it's great for Goose Island. I think it's great for Anheuser Busch. Um, Anheuser Busch sees it as a business move. Clearly, clearly sees it as a business move. They're not there to fuck up their recipes. They're not there to dumb down their beers. They are there to help Goose Island become a profitable product. Um, bottom line end of story. Goose Island sees it as an opportunity to expand, um, get into more markets, get people, get more people their beer, um, produce larger quantities of the beer for different people to try. They see it as an opportunity to compete with Dogfish Head and your Sam Adams and your Sierra, Sierra Nevada. That's what they're trying to do. That's their end game. It was either number one, go into debt, or number two, sell the company. They chose number two to sell the company and to cre keep creative control, which I think is awesome. Even though Greg Hall will no longer be there as the brewmaster, they brought in a guy from Deschutes who, you know, obviously knows what he's doing. So with that said, I think it is a business. You guys have to remember craft beer is a business. People don't make craft beer to lose money. It is a business bottom line. Um, and I think we kind of need to embrace the idea of these bigger um, kind of, you know, swill brewers helping to distribute beers and craft beers because they want a piece and the craft beer needs to give them a piece in order to expand their, ta expand their beers into different markets, which I am all freaking for. Um, I don't understand why people are against it, you know. Anheuser-Busch gets their cut. Miller Coors gets their cut. I mean, Terrapin a little bit of their money goes to cores which you don't hear a lot of, out of but it but it does um it's gonna happen this is this is this is the big one um but there's gonna be more down the road um so look forward to it i mean you guys are just gonna have to deal with it it's one of those things look i get it anheuser Bush sucks but you have to give them credit they produce a consistently sucky product um producing a light lager is amazingly hard to produce over and over and over again and they do it consistently so you have to give them credit there they know what they're doing as far as marketing, clearly. Um, they have you know, such a huge hold on the market. Craft beer, sure, is creeping up on their market, but you know, do they care? No. They bought Goose Island, more or less, as a business, business decision. They were already in business with them, about 30% into business with them. So it was clearly just the next step. Um, and again, Goose Island just saw it as a business opportunity. You have to think business, you have to think craft beer. They go hand in hand, unfortunately, and I don't think a lot of people see that, but that is my Anheuser-Busch thing. I just hope, hope Goose Island sticks to their guns, keeps creating amazing beers. I think the bigger question is, um, I'm hoping their prices are going to go down because I think if Goose Island gets access to Anheuser-Busch's um, you know, providers as far as grains, malt, hop, yeast, it should go down because they're able to buy it cheaper. So in theory... Uh, it should go down, but would I ever buy another bottle of, say, you know, a Goose Island Rare if they were produced again? No, I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't because I know some percentage of that would be going to Anheuser Busch, and Anheuser Busch is going to be like, well, excuse me, you charged fifty bucks a bottle before. Well, why not do that again when you got it for thirty percent the price or whatever? But I won't do that. Um, BCS, it's going to be in larger markets now. More people are going to be able to get it. It's going to be cheaper, hopefully. Um, so I, I don't know. It's got its upsides. It's got its downsides. That's my thinking. I think we all need to get over it. It's not that big of a deal. It really, really isn't that big of a deal. Um, the second issue at hand is the Brewmaster's cancellation. Um, I don't know. Did you guys see that so show? Uh, you know, Dogfish Head. It, it was a great kind of banner for the craft beer community to wave. Um, but it, it, you know, unless you're a beer geek or, you know, a, a, you just, you can't watch that show. It, it just, it doesn't appeal to the masses. You're basically watching a show about a business. 
um, where the boss is never there. He's out traveling around, you know, to the <laughs> pharaoh's uh, tombs, collecting yeast and everything, which to me is fucking more interesting than anything I've ever seen on TV. But to the general population, they could give a shit. Um, the ratings aren't very good. If you look up the ratings on um, the internet for that show, they're not very good. It's not... It, it, Discovery Channel and the Travel Channel... And, oh, let me get to the Travel... But the Discovery Channel is in the business of TV to make money. Bottom line. They're not there to just produce quality TV that no one watches. You know, it's not there. Um, this thing... whole All this started because Anthony Bourdain of No Reservations, who... I'll get into that in a second, tweeted that... Uh, I'm summing this up. Uh, dog or uh, brewmasters got shut down because of big beer. You know, I, I summarize that, but um, I'm a huge fan of Anthony Bourdain. I think he's one of the greatest TV personalities on the planet. I've got an autographed copy of Kitchen Confidential sitting on my desk. He's a great chef, great guy, um, but he's a shit stir. Like he loves to just take his paddle out and stir the pot of shit. Um, and I think that's what went on here with that tweet or whatever it was facebook post or whatever it was um this cancellation was clearly because of low viewership they didn't even get the sixth episode out um, if it was that big of a show for discovery that sixth episode would have been pushed through we would have seen it by now i just think you know sam's a great personality and all that but i think it you know it's just not enough to propel it you know like a, like a, I don't know, what's on Discovery Channel, like an Orange County Choppers, where people who drive Harleys and everything can relate to that. Or that the, um, uh, what's the fishing show, the uh, Greatest Catch, or Big Catch, or whatever it is, the de de World's de Deadliest Catch, or whatever it is. You know, a lot of people fish, and that's just it's a general kind of topic. Craft beer is so limited still, and I think that was an awesome step forward. You know, for, for beer geeks and everything, but I just don't think it's there yet. And I think we need to step back and look at the bigger picture. Budweiser didn't step in and shut down that show. Coors didn't step in and step shut down that show. That show shut down that show. It just didn't have the ratings. I mean, let's just face it. Let's call a spade a spade. It didn't have the ratings. It was losing money. And that's the bottom line. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get over it and uh, move on to bigger and better things. Let's keep drinking craft beer. Keep, you know, keep uh, promoting, talking about Dogfish Head. Keep drinking their beer if you if you really earn the Dogfish Head stuff. And, you know, move on. Um, they had their time in the sun. They had their five or six, well, sixth episode. Hopefully it will air in June. And that was that. I mean, that that's a win. I mean, you know, craft beer was on a major cable network. So that's a win in my book. But with that said, guys, there's my thoughts. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to add anything else. No, that was it. So, uh, yeah, with that said, guys, <laughs> remember, life is too short. Drink amazing beers, guys. Cheers.